Okay, this is a Mercedes-Benz C-Class W204 chassis, so it's 2007 to 2014. We have the check engine light, as you can see on the dashboard right here. We're going to show you how to diagnose this and ultimately replace the correct part and then get the check engine light removed from the dashboard. Uh, this is the iCarsoft i980, which we highly recommend using for the job. Uh, it's available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com um, So we're going to click into Diagnose here, we're going to click select our vehicle. So we just need to scroll down. So it's a C220 CDI manual select I'm going to click onto the top one which is the engine so click into read fault memory now I'll just forget about that one we're looking at this one here 20B6003 which is a manufacturer specific code and it's telling us short circuit to ground or open circuit to component B28 stroke 5 in brackets pressure sensor downstream of air cleaner um, so this is basically telling us that the map sensor is faulty uh, so what we really need to do is uh, get the map, get the original map sensor removed from the vehicle, put a new map sensor in, and then uh, we'll come back into the vehicle and we should be able to erase the trouble codes and get rid of the check engine light on the dashboard. Uh, so let's go ahead now and remove the map sensor. Now to remove the map sensor, you will need uh, two screws to be removed, but you you need a star set. Uh, either a socket or like a screwdriver but they need to a first of all have holes in like this and they also need to be five stars a lot of the uh, the torque screw sets that you get uh, the cheaper ones they will have six stars on so they're not going to be suitable you need to use one of these ones these are like tamper proof ones um, and you need a specialist kit to actually get the screws out so uh, bear in mind that before you start the job you will need five star Torx set just like this you can pick this up from uh, Amazon generally around about six or seven pounds right so you need to use a TS25 as shown there see the screw and then the other one and then you'll find that the map sensor should come out and then just unclip it like that So there you've got one old map sensor. The installation of the new map sensor is just the exact reverse. So you need to pop the sensor into place. Pop your screws in. Tighten them up. Second, then we'll just plug the connection in, and then we'll go and erase the trouble codes and obviously the check end of the warning light as well. Alright, so we put the new map sensor in. You can see the check engine light is still illuminated on the dashboard. Sorry for the glare, I'm just trying to get an angle here where you can see the tool and the, uh, the check engine light. So we're going to select our vehicle again. Scroll down the list as we did last time. Um, 
this time what we're going to do is going to go straight in and just erase the codes. Clear fault memory. And there we go, check engine light has been removed. So that's the iCarsoft i980 demonstrating that the uh, the map sensor can be replaced, diagnosed and reset using the iCarsoft i980 kit. Uh, it is available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com. So you can just click the link directly below this video and it will take you to the page on our website. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.